How you handle snitches here in Chicago? Because in New York, we bury them. The Flynn's are on the way out. Everybody knows it except you. No one boards a sinking ship. I want eyes on him. Audio and video of everything. You wasting my talents, huh? If I even hear that you out on them corners hustling, I might have to kill you myself. Don't test your Uncle Tommy. What up, what up, what up? John, I'm with IG and we are locked in. This is the trailer for episode four and my predictions on what's next. Now, I don't know what direction we're going in on this show because everybody is just jumping off the ledge. Jannard then turned into a junkie. Tommy's still ripping and running the streets trying to get revenge for Liliana. Mr. Don't Play, aka parole officer Tyrone Reeves, is getting haircuts and he's investigating everybody. Little K is gone. DeFranco is upset. Man, the city of Chicago is on fire right now. Before we jump into this and I give my prediction, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So each and one of you count. And if you don't see this video at 100 likes, hit that like button for me. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't see this video at 100 likes, hit that like button. Now, episode four, it should be another good one. I gave episode three an eight and a half, an eight. Hopefully we get the same. So let's jump into it. This is what's next, episode four of Book Four Force. I understood everything Tommy was saying about potential snitches and trying to wipe them out. That's how they would do it in New York. So he's asking Diamond, hey, what's different down here in Chicago? Cause this is how we handle it. Now, I don't know if he's threatening Diamond about this, or he's just pulling the gun to show Diamond how serious it is. Either way, Tommy is wrong if this is supposed to be his business partner, but Tommy wants to stay in the game. Diamond keeps taking a step back. We've seen Tyrone Reeves and I have a theory about him also, but he wants to get out the game. Tommy on the other hand, he wants to continue to try to handle business, which keeps making the block hot. Diamond already asked him in episode three, do you feel like Miguel knows it was us? Tommy's like, nah. Well, the Serbs, they still want answers. Everybody is looking for Tommy. Not only that, he pressed Claudia and killed one of the bodyguards. So Diamond, the block is really gonna be hot for him if he's dealing with Tommy as closely as they've been dealing with each other in these first three episodes. We're gonna to have to pump the brakes on the Super Troopers. One thing we can say though is DeFranco is out in the streets trying to piece things together. He's linking the shootout to a blue Mustang where the young girl died. He's linking it to Tommy Egan and he's saying, listen, I want all information on Tommy because he knows little K is the one that committed to murder, but he wants to know why was he shooting at the car? So he told little K, if you snitch, we will look out for you and we will protect you. But he found out little K was dead. So he's trying to connect all of this back to Tommy because if Tommy got shot at by little K, little K is dead, he's assuming that it's Tommy. Now, grandma was the one that has the information that it was actually Jannard who had got into it with little K. Now, unless she comes forward with that, DeFranco, he's gonna be trying to pin all of this on Tommy, which works out for the super troopers once they get this task force out there because Stacy Marks, she was involved at the stop the violence. So DeFranco going into episode four, his number one priority is Tommy, but he doesn't know that little K was killed by Jannard unless grandma says something. Mirkovich is a man about means, a man that's gonna get things taken care of. Now they're a little weak in the streets because of everything that's transpired, but what he's trying to do is get Claudia to understand, listen, the Flynn family, you guys are crumbling, tumbling fast, going down the hill, it's a snowball effect. Started off as a small problem, but the further this goes on, the bigger the problem gets. So he's basically trying to tell her, listen, leave all that nonsense behind. Come over here, help the Serbs out. I'll get you a nice little position over here. You can make some money and you can get away from the family. Now we know the Serbs and the Flins have always been into it. Walter right now, he's actually messed up in the game because what? Victon took out Dublin. They were supposed to make things right. They're done, it's, everything's messed up and everyone knows this. So Mirkovich is trying to convince Claudia to join, but at this point, Claudia could turn because remember, she's been cut off. All of her money, credit cards stopped. 
So she needs to make money somehow. And Mirkovich is extending the olive branch. So you never know. I'm still not sure about d -Mac. This young man just got shot and got out the hospital. We seen JP explain to him everything that happened and we're thinking, okay, d -Mac is gonna turn over a new leaf. But he picked up the gun in episode three so he won't be necked out in the street. Now from this trailer, it looks like he's out in the streets trying to sell the gun. I thought he was trying to have the gun for protection. Now Tommy doesn't want d -Mac in any of this. He already tried to remove him in season one by allowing him to just count the money. But d -Mac wants to be in the game so much, he's already been shot. Now it looks like he's about to get back in the game with no clue of what he's actually doing. If he just sits back and listens, then we're all good. Now, it's gonna be up to JP to probably get him out the streets because we know Tommy is talking tough, saying, if you were in the streets, I'm gonna kill you myself. But it's gonna to have to be up to JP to try to get across to him. d -Mac keeps calling him unk because he wants to be cool with Tommy so Tommy can trust him. But we can't trust d -Mac. We've seen a whole season of mess up. We do see Tommy fighting in the bathroom. Now, I'm not sure how old this young man is. I couldn't tell you if he was d -Mac's age or he was a little bit older, like in early 20s. But he's probably somebody that got into it with d -Mac or he tried to do something to make a move on Tommy. Now, if it was d -Mac, he probably stole something from d -Mac, stole the gun, and Tommy had to come and save him. But I'm assuming that he probably just attacked Tommy and that's why they were fighting. Either way it goes, d -Mac is about to draw up a lot of attention when we have the task force out here and Tommy Egan is going to have to be the one to deal with I said JP needed to step up, but JP's not going to do anything. Tommy is going to have to be the one to get d -Mac straight or it's going to have to be another wake up call and somebody either steals, robs, or beats up d -Mac. My only prediction for Diamond, you gotta lay low. Your PO officer isn't playing. He's gonna probably be surveying the whole barbershop, making sure that everything is right. He comes over here for a haircut, probably bi-weekly, every two weeks he's showing up. You gotta get the dope out of the basement because Big Smurf, he don't look like he's gonna be fast enough to get away from Tyrone Reeves. And if any of this information gets out, they link a picture with you and Tommy, DeFranco is going to be on your case also. He's already about to be on Jannard's case. And all of this could lead back to you because that's your brother. So hopefully Diamond, he takes a step back. Maybe Tommy is doing all the reckless stuff. But Diamond's got to lay low because it's too hot for him right now. All right, let me know what you guys think about my predictions. Also, let's open up the conversation down in the comments. Let me know what you think is going to happen going into episode four. Make sure you tune in tonight. 7 p.m. Eastern for the live after show discussion for episode three, where I talk about each and every character. We break them down, where I tell the story behind the story. But thanks for watching. My name is Mode IJ. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers, so I appreciate each and every one of you. Hit that subscribe button for me. And if you don't see the video at 100 likes, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. I'll see you tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern.